Let me ask you uh, a few questions before we start. How many of you, can you raise your hand, know in advance about Cambridge Turbine System before going here? Anybody? Okay. So let me be clear about that. We have three terms here in Cambridge MicroMaster, <coughs> Length Term, and uh, Easter Term. Uh, I arrived here four years ago. I'm still learning about the system. It's so complicated. But the bottom line is that the term is so sharp here. I was shocked. I, was, I, I only knew about the term system in the US, and it lasts for 13 weeks each. Okay? And you have one week more just for course revision and other things. So 14 weeks. And here, in the best of cases, you have eight, if not nine weeks. That means what? On the one side, it's very nice because then you, you have a very concentrated period of learning. Then you have awful lot of free time to read about things that you are interested in or take part in the social activities in Cambridge, which is one of the most fantastic uh, experience ever that I, I know about. That is on, on the positive side. The negative side is that everything will be very quick and condensed. And it's a horrible thing for you and for us. Because, you know, we have to do a job in something like two-thirds of time or even half of the amount of time in comparison to colleagues and students in the U.S. Okay? So, going back to what uh, the previous speaker told you, time management is a huge issue. You, you need to be extremely focused and extremely efficient during the term time. Otherwise, you will have no opportunity to go back. The term is passing, and after micro mass, you have a few a few weeks, and you, you're going to have exams. And then after the exam, you're going to have you know land term arriving, and then land term is even shorter than micro mass. Okay, so time management. Before uh, before I, I, I mention other things, so the second point that I would like to insist on is that normally for this course, elsewhere, I will be given 32 hours to 36 hours to do something to make sure that we, we go smoothly at the beginning and we go faster by the end of the course and we cover all the main topics in finance. Now, we will have together 16 hours, right? So you and me will have to make a choice. We cannot cover everything and there is no need to do so. But then for each of the things that we cover in the class, we want to make sure that we do the main things, the, the, the most important things that cannot be ignored. Okay, so, so let me just tell you um, the second question that I would like to have. How many of you, can you raise your hand, have any experience dealing with uh, anything finance, e either at the corporate uh, level or elsewhere? Okay, three of you. What did you do exactly? I was just in the financial department of the law firm, so it was connect to some debt and something like that. Okay, debt-related issues, right? And you? I've done some basic finance-related courses at Columbia. Okay, so what exactly, for example, what you did at Columbia? Um, basic finance and accounting for lawyers. Okay. And add some other investment banking type of financing. Okay. How many hours did you, did you lose out? 36 hours? Probably. Yeah. Great. And there's another question. <coughs> you, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I thought I did this talk to a deal which was uh, connected with finance. Uh, it was a deal on a particular company and um, making a scheme uh, to provide financial knowledge and uh, on IRR and something like that yes. to okay. calculate the profit to the company. Okay. okay. So now, you know, I have a sense of, you know, who you are. Uh, so that is another challenge that, you know, some of you have some <coughs> interaction with finance things and some of you completely never did so. So well, the challenge of this course is going to uh, give you, irrespectively of what you did before, a big picture of what you might have to experience in your uh, uh, professional life. At. I think either you work for a consulting firm, an investment bank, or in a law practice uh, firm, then I think that you, you're going to have some day to deal with some of the, the, the so-called finance issues. So this is exactly this course. So uh, we will uh, review together, 
Okay, so a few fundamental principles in finance. We cannot do all, obviously, okay? Uh, should not pretend to do all. But we're gonna do it in a good way, in the sense that I will basically talk of the fundamental, the thing that you cannot ignore. And if you remember a few things, then from that point, you can uh, really deal uh, with confidence with a few uh, 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 models that you have uh, in the future. So we're gonna start by uh, having a look at uh, major financial statement and, and, uh, uh, and document. So basically, when you deal with something, you need to be able to read a few financial documents, right? The like of balance sheet and income uh, statement. And then understand, you know, not everything, because you are not supposed to be an accountant, right? At least you understand the main lines and the bottom lines of those documents, and get a few major information, uh, major point, major things uh, on, on those documents. And then uh, for the second and third topic, basically we try to calculate the most important thing in finance, which is <coughs> cash flow. Okay, understand how a firm generates cash flow, how a firm is good or bad based on the cash flow that the firm generates. And then based on the cash flow, we're going to have a, one of the most direct applications that I'm sure that you will be uh, experienced in your life, which is how to value financial assets, the like of stock and bonds, based on uh, uh, the, cash, uh, the cash flow generated by an asset. On the firm, right? And then uh, if time is slow, we're going to go deep into uh, a few capital budgeting decisions. So if you are put yourself in, you know, uh, in terms of investors or, or the firm or the CEO, then you, you, you need to make decisions to invest. So capital budgeting decisions. And, and you have to make sense of this decision, the pro, the cons, the problem that you have, that is a capital budgeting decision. All major corporations have to uh, look at capital budgeting decision every day because the simple reason is that if you don't invest today, you're gonna have no revenues and no return on investment in the future. So investment is one of the most important decisions in finance and in corporate life, if you are one of the top guys in the corporations, okay? And then the last but not less important is to look at a few other important notions in finance, which is risk, return, and the cost of capital. Okay, so basically if, if you grab a few major things from those topics, I will not assure, will not be assured that you're gonna be an excellent financier, but at least you understand what other people might be talking of. Like if you talk to an investment banker all the time, they're gonna talk of you know cash flow, they're gonna talk of valuation, they're gonna talk of they're gonna discuss uh, risk return and the cost of capital. Okay, those fundamental things are ongoing every day for guys in corporations and in finance. Now, 16 hours and a lot of things to do. Uh, the, the most important thing about all these aims and objectives of this course is to give you a few simple tools, techni technical tools, and also technical argument that help you in the future to, to stand out to uh, you know, argument from other colleagues or investors or other partners. <coughs> who will be involved in uh, corporate uh, transactions. So for, for example, if after this course, people cannot tell you anything about cash flow of firm, if you can do so, I will be very happy, okay? That means that you grab the things and you understand what is going on and that you will not let people to uh, tell you whatever they want to tell, okay? So the course aim to be practical. Uh, we're gonna do a lot of examples, simple examples. I will give you a set of uh, uh, homework that we're gonna do together in class after, but then I will provide you with a few problems with solution. Okay, so you, you will have to spend time on that, do your best. If you cannot, you surrender, then you refer to the solution that, 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 that is given uh, with each of the voluntary kind of uh, problem sets. Okay, so assessment very quickly. Uh, there will be only one and a single exam that count, that will count for 100% of the, the, the mark, final mark. Um, the exam is going to be designed in a way that allows you to really 
uh, uh, grab the material. So I will not, you know, ask you sophistic, sophisticated uh, 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 um, exercises that are based on calculations. I will give you the like of easy, uh, easy problem in terms of calculation. <coughs> But uh, then I will ask you to put in some argument based on a few principles that we did in class. So it's not like I will give you so, you know, like stochastic calculus you cannot do, okay, in this class. But, but, but then I will ask you more for argument. Why you are for that, why you are against, okay? So there is a hard core part, which is you have to calculate it. You have to get used how to calculate it, or at least understand how calcula calculation are done. But then you have to put argument in, into the, the, the problem, okay? So most questions are easy, but about a quarter is a bit more challenging, challenging in the sense that you have to argue. You just not take the thing that you calculate as given, right? So if you are, for example, if I ask you to value the equity of a firm, you cannot tell me that the, if you find a negative number, figure, Immediately you say that either you was wrong on something because you know there, there can never be negative equity value Or if it is truly that it is negative Then you have to find out the reason why the equity of a firm is negative and you have to set it to be zero because you know If you are shareholder of IBM the worst that can happen to you is that you lose everything You cannot like have to sell a house. It's limited liability principle, right? So something like this, okay? Now, um, uh, there is a, a, a textbook for that, and uh, I think that the textbook is available here. Uh, um, and you know, guys in finance, all the in finance are very good at making money. Okay, so you have thousands of textbooks in finance, and each textbook will have a new edition every a year and a half or so, and it's cost. Okay, a, a, a book like this is gonna cost you like $150 easily, 100 pounds, something like this. Uh, so I would recommend you to, to read, if, if you have time, in advance of each of the topic that we will we, we, be doing in the class because we only have 16 hours. And despite of me, I cannot explain all the corner of the things. I will be focused on main things. Uh, but I will be open to everything, all the questions that you might have, okay? either when we, 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 we talk, discuss in class, or after. Okay? Uh, if you cannot have this kind of time, then I would recommend you to start from the slide, do all the dirty job in doing homework exercise, voluntary uh, uh, exercises with solutions, and talk to me if you have any, any problem. But this is a main textbook based on which I will, I will try to simplify things and explain to you, uh, uh, you know, a few uh, uh, fundamental principles in finance. Okay. So about myself, uh, nothing uh, special. I'm, uh, I, I joined uh, Judge Business School uh, four years ago and um, uh, still learning about Cambridge. And uh, I do uh, research uh, in corporate finance, empirical finance, uh, and, and I do publish in a few major journals in finance. And uh, so it, I, I also take part, like you, I guess, in uh, some of the major uh, associations of researchers in, in finance. So I think that um, we have something like two minutes for questions, or <coughs> if you will for that, um, then, um, then basically let's open up to the... Yeah, yeah let's open up to so the... So let's have two or three minutes for questions, if you have any.